concept of genetically engineered trees was to have trees do things that they can't do in nature. For example, you know, trees that have the ability to kill insects. Right now, there's a there's a, a pending proposal that would be the first GMO plant ever, in this case, a genetically engineered tree, that would be allowed to be released into wild forests directly into wild forests with the intent of contaminating its native wild relatives. This isn't science fiction. There are currently hundreds, perhaps thousands of test plots of GE trees already being grown in the open around the world. My name is David Suzuki. I am, by training and profession, a geneticist. We study the genetics of organisms by breeding a male and a female of one species, looking at their offspring and breeding them through what is called vertical inheritance within a species. When you take a gene from one species and transfer that DNA into a totally unrelated species, that's a completely different kind of experiment. This is now called horizontal inheritance. We've never done that before and it is absolutely bad science science to say that we can look at vertical inheritance and use the same ideas to explain what goes on in horizontal experiments. It's just lousy science. Look at genetically engineered trees. A lot of our people say there's really no life to that tree. There's no spirit to that tree. It's already been corrupted. going to inject genes that are not part of nature. It's not, it's not how nature has developed itself. You're interfering in nature. You're, you're, you're going beyond a limit. And that's what I think is a very serious thing in GE trees. And we don't know what will happen. We don't know about the risks. So we are playing with nature. And that's unacceptable. But with genetically modified organisms such as trees, you cannot retract them. Once they are out there, where are you going to find them if they have gone into the forest? Where are you going to find them if they have spilled down the river and gone to the neighboring country? What the hell is the rush? to apply these ideas that we're getting. We're still at the bare beginning of understanding of what we're doing. The rush to apply these ideas is absolutely dangerous because we don't have a clue what the long-term impact of our manipulations is going to be.